I've decided to call our kingdom the beautiful but and best on kingdom. I like it. For the last few days, my life has been nothing but Nino Kuni 2. I don't think I've ever logged more hours in a game in such a short amount of time. There have been others that got close, and they all happen to end up being my favourite games of all time. Given how much I've put into it, I'm happy to share my experience thus far with Nino Kuni 2, but I feel like I've only just scratched the surface. There's no way I can bring myself to give a full in-depth review just yet. The Wizard of Oz taught me that it's always best to start at the beginning, and Nino Kuni 2's opening is probably the best I have ever experienced in a game. There's no slow start. You won't be hearing people tell you to stick it out for the first 5 or 10 hours before it gets good. This game is good before you've even hit new game. There aren't four hours worth of cutscenes, they don't baby you with 30 minute tutorials on every tiny game mechanic. They give you what you need in terms of story and mechanics, then they drop you right into the middle of a tense story segment that begins establishing the world and the situation you're in that leads to the broader epic journey you're about to undertake. The story so far has been excellent. It arguably has slightly less charm than the first game, but Nino Kuni 2 is still chock full of it. And the sheer scope of the game and everything there is to do more than makes up for the fact that Studio Ghibli had a lesser role in the sequel. Which brings me to the first bit of assurance. People have been worried about Nino Kuni 2, with the delays, with the knowledge that Ghibli was only really present in the form of a few artists, and the seemingly tumultuous development path that it's had. But having played the hell out of it, there is just no basis for worry. Pull all of that out of your head because there is absolutely nothing that seems rushed or half-assed or broken. On the topic of concerns, I had quite a few of my own going into Nino Kuni 2. I've had multiple chances over the last 6 or so months to play through multiple demos and preview builds, but they were very limited in scope, and I see now that they really didn't do the final product justice at all. I was worried that with the removal of familiars and the introduction of Higgledies, they had basically removed that entire monster collector aspect, so I was delighted when I saw that there are actually 100 adorable Higgledies to collect that all have their own stats, abilities, natures, elements, and levels. And this isn't even the end of major collectibles, because one of the most awesome things they added, the Kingdom Builder, also has you journey out in search of citizens to add to your budding new kingdom, and there are 103 in total for you to find. What should have you all excited is the scope of the game that's on offer. There is so much to do, it's proper JRPG stuff without all the grindy obscure mechanics that people try to make sense of. What I mean is that there is so much to do and they don't make it feel that way by adding layers upon layers of RNG or mechanics that aren't fully explained. On top of the main story, there is the Kingdom Builder, which is a pretty extensive town building sim that also includes the side quests and side stories that have you looking for new citizens. There are unrelated side quests as well that tell their own stories or just give you nice rewards. On top of Higgledies, completionists will also have the joy of adventuring for the 50 super strong mini boss type monsters that are scattered throughout the world. They are buffed up versions of normal monsters that give special rewards. There are also multiple types of combat, your traditional action combat system system that resembles a kind of mix between Tails and Kingdom Hearts, with light and heavy attacks, ranged attacks, and special moves like spells, as well as a siege combat that is kind of hard to explain. Throughout the world you find banners. Activating them starts a completely different battle mode that takes place in the overworld. It's a bit like Dynasty Warriors in that it takes place in a defined map. You have defined objectives and events throughout the siege will alter the course of battle. But the way battle is handled is you have up to four armies that can rotate around you and give limited commands to. It's more strategic than the action combat system and it just adds another thing you can do in the vast world. On top of all this you have traditional dungeons, you have puzzle segments, there are even special multi-level dungeon mazes that have different mechanics. It is truly a massive game. 
The world design takes me back to the glory days of JRPGs like Final Fantasy IX. There are large cities, hubs, dungeons, and things like that that are connected by an overworld. But they've improved this type of game design by adding things we all appreciate as gamers in 2018, like a fast travel system. This design is perfect in my opinion. I had forgotten just how much I missed playing a game like this. It has the perfect balance of exploration and side content while also managing to keep you focused on the overarching narrative. Narrative. It's certainly not linear, but it still offers a more focused story experience than most of the big open world games we see nowadays. So to sum up, I'm in love. Nino Kuni 2 is charming, it's witty, it's fun, it's huge, it's damn near perfect. Even things that I haven't mentioned in this mini review like soundtrack and graphics are just incredible. I was humming away to a certain track from the game the entire time I was writing this script. Keep an eye out for my Nino Kuni 2 Q&A video coming later today, and my full review will be up in the next few days once I've finished the main story. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of that Nino Kuni 2 content coming up, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, check out the links in the video description to find out where to pre-order the game or how you can support the channel, and as always, have a good day or night, and I'll see you all soon.